blackberry that grows on vines in temperate regions. While each vine can produce hundreds of pounds of fruit, it typically takes anywhere from three to as many as seven years for these plants to reach maturity. Because of this large time investment, be sure to start with good stock and cultivate your kiwi fruit plants using optimal methods. Growing kiwi fruits from seed is a fun project and will give you a nice ornamental plant. Kiwi fruit do not always grow true to type, meaning that your plant may not produce edible fruit like the one it came from. If you want to grow a kiwi plant for its fruit, purchase a grafted plant from a nursery. Three major types of kiwi fruit are 1. Common kiwi. This is the type of kiwi fruit, Actinidia deliciosa typically found in grocery stores. It is a brown, fuzzy fruit with a thick skin and green pulp. For optimal growth, it requires about a month of cool weather with temperatures ranging from minus 1 to 7 degrees Celsius. Common kiwi can be grown in USDA hardiness zone 7 to 9. 2. Golden Kiwi Another popular type of kiwi, the golden kiwi, Actinidia chinensis is sweeter but more delicate compared to the common kiwi. It is closely related to common kiwi fruit but is less fuzzy and more yellow. This fruit grows best in zones that experience winter lows ranging from minus 12 to minus 1 degrees Celsius. 3. Kiwi Berry This name usually refers to two different kiwi species, the hardy kiwi, Actinidia argata, and the super hardy kiwi. Actinidia columicta. These kiwi fruits are much smaller compared to common and golden kiwis and have a thinner, smooth skin. As their names suggest, this type of kiwi is the most cold tolerant and can be grown in areas that experience harsh winters. These varieties are sometimes able to produce fruit after just one growing season, in contrast to most others that take years to mature. If you've decided to grow common kiwi fruit, Getting seeds can be as simple as going to the grocery store and buying a fruit. According to some gardeners, seeds from organic fruits are more likely to germinate and grow hardy adult plants. For more exotic types of kiwi, you can order inexpensive seeds online from a variety of vendors. To remove seeds from a fresh kiwi fruit, simply slice the fruit in half and scoop them out with your fingers or a spoon place the seeds in a small bowl or cup and rinse them to remove the fruit to rinse swish water around in the bowl and strain it back out a few times keep in mind that most kiwi growers favor purchasing young plants created through propagation from nurseries rather than sprouting them from seeds this is partly because propagated cultivars possess traits that are much more consistent over generations additionally most varieties of kiwi fruit are delicious meaning that both a male and a female plant are required for fruiting to occur since the only way to tell the difference between the two is through their flowers and flowering usually takes three or more years to start happening it's difficult to accurately space seedlings for optimal pollination and fruit production place your seeds in a resealable plastic bag along with a damp paper towel zip the bag up and put it in a warm spot check your seeds every day until you see that they have sprouted if you notice the paper towel drying out before your seeds have germinated be sure to moisten it again the seeds need a humid environment to sprout prepare and moisten a few pots of seed starter potting mix one for every three or four seeds. Tear off a section of the moistened paper towel you use to germinate the seeds that has a three to four seedlings clinging to it. Plant this, paper towel piece and all, into one of your pots. Repeat until all seedlings are planted. Windowsills are generally the best choice unless you have a basement equipped with grow lights. Young plants are especially sensitive to winter chills. So many growers keep their kiwi plants indoors for the first two years or so. Remember to transfer your plants to new, larger pots as they begin to outgrow their smaller ones. At this stage, begin boosting their nutrition using a generic starter fertilizer. 
Find a good spot in your garden for your kiwi fruit. Make sure conditions there are suitable. You will need adequate space for your kiwi fruit plants to grow. Most kiwi fruit plants grow best in either full sun or light shade. Kiwi fruit generally needs slightly acidic soil that is a pH between 6.0 and 6.5. If your soil is too alkaline, you can try to acidify it to make conditions right for growing kiwi fruit. The soil must be moist but well drained. Remember that kiwi fruits are vine plants that can grow up to 30 feet long and weigh a fair amount. Like other vines, they grow best across vertical structures that provide support and greater access to light. Kiwi fruit vines can grow on most types of trellises, gazebos, and fences. Commercial kiwi fruit growers use 6 foot high wire trellises with T bars spaced 15 to 20 feet apart. Transplanting kiwi fruit plants is largely the same as other types of plants. The major difference is that you must space your plants so that each is at the base of its own support structure. Simply dig a hole for each plant that is a little bigger than their current pots. Carefully lift each plant out of its pot, including the roots and the dirt they cling to, and place the roots into the holes you just dug. Finish by filling in the edges of the hole with loose dirt. Try to disturb the roots as little as possible to avoid shock. If you plant to grow fruit, keep as many plants as you have room for. Once they flower, which can take up to five years, you can identify the male and female plants and cull the extras. Even if all other conditions are perfect, your plants may be destroyed by various pests. Kiwi fruit plants will be especially vulnerable until they have fully matured. The leaves of kiwi fruit plants can sometimes attract deer. Keep your young plants safe by keeping deer out of your yard with either a fence around it or chicken wire surrounding your plants. Cats respond to kiwi leaves similarly to catnip. If you've ever tried to grow catnip, you probably know that neighborhood cats can easily destroy your plants. If there are outdoor cats in your area, take measures to keep them out of your garden. Example strategies include building a fence, putting chicken wire around each of your plants, and spraying with repellents. Unlike many other commercial fruit-bearing plants, kiwi fruit do not have many insect enemies, so regular pesticide use is usually unnecessary. As your kiwi fruit plant grows, it will begin to send out shoots. You will need to train these shoots to grow on the support by wiring the vines to the trellis. This will ensure that the plant will grow a strong trunk section. You should prune your kiwi fruit plants once a year. Trim excess canes and any lateral shoots not supportable by its trellis. Lateral shoots are branches that go off to the sides. Your kiwi fruit vines will not be able to support the weight of such shoots on their own until they've reached the top of your trellis. Once the vines reach the top of the trellis, they will be able to grow more horizontally across it. The optimal time for pruning female plants is late winter while the plant is dormant. Male plants can be pruned sooner, right after flowering. Kiwi plants will usually flower within four or five years of planting. When this happens, you can identify the male plants by the bright yellow, pollen-covered anthers in the flower's center. The female plants have sticky stalks in the center instead, and white ovaries at the base of the flower. Since only the female kiwi vines produce fruit, you'll want one male plant to pollinate every eight or nine female plants rather than an even split between the two. Remove the excess males and space the survivors an equal distance apart among the female vines. After a few years, your plants should start producing fruit. Yields may start out small but typically increase every year as the plant matures. Kiwi fruit usually ripens in September and October. If frosts typically happen by then in your area, you will need to harvest the fruit before it's ripe and let it finish ripening under refrigeration. Snap kiwi fruit off at the stalk when their skin begins to change color. Another way